Running, some love it, some hate it, but for one El Pasoan, running is essential to maintaining his mental health and wellness. While also grieving the loss of a loved one, he built a community 150 strong who share his passion. This El Pasoan met with ABC7's Krista Mack and shared his inspiration and path to a special club. Freddy Arellano already serves the community as a crisis intervention officer with the Socorro Police Department, but his service and mental health awareness truly began as a civilian in 2018. That's the year his aunt, Ivan Castillo, died of cancer. What inspired me was my late aunt. Freddy created a running club, Run for it El Paso, that year. He needed to find a way to both cope and spread awareness. Just doing charity runs and runs for nonprofits, you know, to raise money for cancer or any type of services that we can provide. For Freddy, running started on his high school's track. One of the first meets that I ran here at Burgess, I got a medal as a freshman. A spark was lit. I got super competitive and I wanted a medal each meet. Freddy's late father, Alfredo Areano, was his biggest fan. He was there for me at every single event that I used to do back when I was young. After his dad died in 2022, Freddy relied on family, running, and his longtime coach, Alex Smith, both gave me tips on how to train. And for the beginner runners out there, don't worry, my new friend Freddie here will keep you on track. Hey, fix that stride over there. Don't worry, Freddie isn't as tough on the 150 runners who meet weekly. Being in crisis intervention, what I do is all mental health. So the ability of just going out there, helping people that need help with mental health services. Freddie has created a space for people to bond, network, and heal. I really love what he's been doing and he's really been a tremendous uh, um, asset. Krista Mack, ABC7. And for more information on how to join Run for It El Paso, you can head to KVIA.com.